Call the radio station, do an update. They're all leaving. They're leaving. They're filing out single file. Put an update on the website, call the radio station. about four hours and 15 20 minutes since they arrived uh, with 135 vehicles and probably 250 to 300 state troopers uh, it looks like about half of them have left uh, i guess they thought that they were going to break in uh, our buildings and i guess they thought better once we explain the law to them that if they do, it's a first degree burglary felony and it's a class A felony if they break in our building with armed weapons. Now, um, there goes another one leaving. Uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the people of Alabama should uh, really raise ungodly uh, cane with the governor for spending all this taxpayer money for nothing. Uh, you know, just, just to try to make a show, and, and uh, when they arrived here, we had a grand total of three people here on the premises. Myself, uh, we had Will Somerville, who's an attorney in Birmingham, working with us, uh, and Jay, our publicist, Jay Tucker, and that, that's all. That, that was the only people here. All the, all the employees were gone. The patrons were gone. Uh, and the security guards were gone. So we were, we were not on here, you know, there's three of us here. Uh, we spent the night right out here with the media. Of course, the media was here, and, and we appreciate them being here. And, uh, and that's basically where it stands right now. Uh, there's still some of them here. They've been asked to leave in a nice way. Uh, we're fixing to make a filing in federal court. And uh, if, if we're granted the relief, I hope we get in federal court. Uh, they should be out of here pretty soon. We got reports that uh, some of them were told to go home and get some sleep and uh, prepare for with like five days worth of clothing. Uh, well, did that federal maybe maybe uh, they'll go to some of these counties where there were bad car wrecks last night and uh, and, and do a report on them. We're, we're getting reports uh, all over the state. There were there were two tractor trailers that had a wreck on I-59. No state troopers. Uh, they're all at Victory Land and all down here. Uh, this is a travesty, uh, and I hope uh, that the that that the uh, people that did this are exposed and uh, and are punished accordingly for what they've done. Uh, it's not right to spend all this taxpayer money on this. They had no no reason to come on our property. They had no search warrant. They had no court order, and they were asked specifically that to start with, and were asked to leave and have not left, and are still here. There's still a, a good bit, good many of them uh, still here on the property. Have you spoke with any of them since last night when you asked them? To, I've, this morning I've spoken with them twice, and uh, I'm fixing to speak to them again and uh, ask them again to leave nicely. And, of course, they're going to say they're waiting to hear from the higher authority. Well, the higher authority should be embarrassed this morning at 8.20 in the morning now. All right. And four hours and some 10 minutes after they got here. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.